I was contemplating the whole speech mute, but that won't work. So, end of the year, right? Good time to think about what's coming up. We went over that earlier. But in preparation for this, I have this massive whiteboard at home for um, just writing down ideas and then working from them from there. And I decided to list all my accomplishments so far this year. Because it feels really good to do so. And I recommend before the year ends, you do this. Write down somewhere everything you've accomplished this year and you'll feel just fantastic about yourself. It's um, pretty great. So I'm gonna go through some of them a couple times. This is my seventh main act at Open Stage. I wanted, to, I wanted to start there because my last performance was my one year and I figured if I tried to do about one a month, that would be great, but then you know life gets in the way. So seven is pretty good for one year, my first year, I like it. Um, secondly, I travel a lot for work. I've seen a lot of things I wouldn't get to um, without my job. Been to New York three times in 2013, Chicago four times, Canada twice. Uh, got the chance to drive to Clinton, Oklahoma, which if you don't know where that is, you're not missing anything. <laughs> so, you know, it's, uh, but that, that drive's really great because it, it was just recently and it gave me a lot of time to think. This is after my Kickstarter. So, you know, I did a Kickstarter for a game and I have copies of that now here. Yay. Why not, yeah? Awesome. So I talked about that last time, so I won't go into it now, but um, it's available. <laughs> Um, but in that time to think, I was thinking about what do I want to do next year? You know, I've got this list of accomplishments for 2013. Need to work on my plan for next year. So um, throughout 2013, I lost 25 pounds. Woo. <laughs> gained 45 back. <laughs> so not good, right? So I've got, you know, that plan, doing a lot of research and things, and there's a lot of... Um, positive talk for vegetarianism and veganism. And a lot of people are like, oh, that's just hippie stuff. They really get into it. Like, at least check out Dr. Furman and Dr. Michael Greger, who, the second guy, has a website called nutritionfacts.org. You know, because you're like, nutrition facts, I've heard that term a lot. He just went full bore. It's just .org. He owns it, and it does a bunch of daily videos. They're about three minutes a piece. They cover all kinds of topics, whether it be dairy or how to cure back pain with vegetables and, and all of that and I've been watching a ton of those. So I have a goal for, um, they say on average two and a half pounds a week of weight loss is a good goal so I'm just going to go down to two pounds a week. So we're looking at 104 pounds lost next year is the goal. So that seems within reason. Yeah, do it. Yeah, and so I've al I already blog, I have a music blog for uh, some of the indie bands and stuff and then I blog for my board games. I'm going to start a third blog for the weight loss process. So that way I have that constant feedback and keep me on track. And, you know, if I'm not posting, I've got some friends that say, hey, I'll, I'll message you and say, where's your, where's your update? So I'll be able to keep myself on track with that. Um, producing host and doing a Kickstarter was a huge deal. People are like, oh, you just go to Kickstarter, you get lots of money, and it's all good. It's not that at all. It's hard, hard work to run a Kickstarter. It took over 30 days of my life. I just lost to doing that. You know, I'd compromise my, my normal job working on this thing. I mean, my girlfriend didn't really talk much because I was so busy messaging other people, sending emails, making posts on forums. But my plan for next year is to do three. <laughs> three Kickstarters <laughs> wow. next year because I have uh, two games pretty close to already being developed. And I'm going to just put those off to March and do one in March and then another in May and then have one more at the end of the year. So I think with that, I can, uh, you know, the plan is to continue working, continue driving towards my goals for the year. And I recommend you guys, again, new year, set some goals. And there was a lyric in that song just a minute ago, my heart is a drummer, and that, so good. So I'm alive, my heart's beating, I'm gonna do something with that. I'm gonna keep marching, no one's gonna rain on my parade. It's, um, there's a documentary about music called My Heart is a Drum Machine. You know, it's, it's wanting you to move along. It's working you every day. It's going to continue to beat until you don't let it anymore. So you might as well do something with that time. So with the turn of the new year, uh, January 1st, I don't know if a lot of people have office jobs, they're probably off that day. Use that day for planning the rest of your year. You know, focus, you've got that extra time you don't normally have. It's a great time to start. 
Now you may be thinking, but I'll be hungover. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, have, have fun, but don't waste your next year hungover and in pain and a headache. That's that kind of behavioralism that is self-defeating. So have fun New Year's Eve night, but be prepared for January 1st. Don't start your year off behind already. So um, a lot of that I wanted to get into. <laughs> and day planners. A lot of people are like, why would I do that? I have a smartphone. Just, it's, there's a whole other part of your brain you access when you actually write something down. Then you type it into a thing and set it to remind you later. You just you let it go and it'll remind you later or whatever. Write it down. Get a, some post-it notes, put them around. You get a whiteboard, like I was saying earlier, or a day planner. And literally write it down. Get on top of yourself to check it. Um, you know, this is, these are really, it's really important to start your new year right. Because you have only so much time of the year. Don't squander it hungover when a headache. You know, it's, this is your time. Your heart is a drummer. It's going to keep you going. So make sure not to squander it. I think that's... Gosh, you guys are really excited. <laughs> so this concludes our broadcast day. <laughs> the Penguin has spoken!